Hello students, we are starting with the most interesting chapter of 12th standard chemistry paper 2. The name of the chapter is aldehyde, ketones and carboxylic acid. Students, we are going to study this chapter in modules. In this particular module, we are going to discuss introduction and definition of a carbonyl group followed by classification of a carbonyl group and finally we are going to do a structure of a carbonyl group. So here we go with the first point that is an introduction. Now student here you can see one statement on a screen as aldehydes and ketones are known as carbonyl compounds. Now student you may have got a thought what are carbonyl compounds? The answer is Carbonyl compounds are those compounds which contains carbonyl group. Now students, if you can see there is one more term, what is carbonyl group? So on a screen you can see a group which is actually a carbonyl group. Now student, let us do a little bit detailing of this particular group. So your student, can you see carbon atom of this group is sp2 hybridized. One more point has to be discussed in this, the carbon atom of this particular group is known as carbonyl carbon and the oxygen atom of this group is known as carbonyl oxygen. So student, this was just a brief introduction, let us now define a carbonyl group. So student, can you see over here a carbon atom is attached to an oxygen by a double bond. Not only this, it has got one more feature, can you see that two single bonds attached to a carbon atom? That is nothing but what? These two valencies are actually free. So if you combine both these statements, you can define what is carbonyl group. So, a group in which a carbon atom is attached to oxygen by a double bond and remaining two valencies of a carbon atom are free is known as carbonyl group. Student, this was just an introduction. Let us move on to a next topic that is a classification. So, here student we have got a carbonyl group. Now, there are total in all three basic compounds where carbonyl group is present. Here the first one, I have got a carbonyl group. One side of the carbonyl group is an alkyl group R. On the other side, you have got another group called as H. These type of compounds are called as aldehydes. The second compound, again I have got a carbonyl group. One side of the carbonyl group if I have got alkyl group and on other side also if I have got an alkyl group, maybe same or maybe different, these type of compounds are called as ketones. Finally, the third one, I have got over here a carbonyl group. One side of the carbonyl group, I have got an alkyl group. On the other side of the carbonyl group, I have got an hydroxy group which is OH group. These type of compounds are called as carboxylic acids. Student, remember, in all there are four more compounds where carbonyl group is present. But since those compounds are obtained from carboxylic acids, so we know them as substituted acids. Let us go in detail of those compounds. So, here I have got a first compound where you can see a carbonyl group. One side if you have got an alkyl group, on the other side if you have got an OR group which is called as alkoxy group, these type of compounds are called as esters. Similarly, I have got a carbonyl group. One side of the carbonyl I have got an alkyl group. On the other side, I have got an halogen which is X. These type of compounds are called as acyl halides. Then the next one again, I have got a carbonyl group. One side if you see there is an alkyl group, other side there is an NH2 group, that is an amine group. 
these type of compounds are called as and amides finally i have got a group where there are two carbonyl group in between there is one oxygen atom either side of the carbonyl groups if i have got an alkyl group may be same or different these type of compounds are called as acid anhydrides so student these last four compounds what we discuss they are acid derivatives the student remember one thing out of the seven compounds what you can see first two compounds are only known as carbonyl compounds rest of those five they are not a carbonyl compounds since they have a carbonyl group but they do not behave as a carbonyl group and the reason is due to resonance which we are going to discuss later on so here we ends up with the classification let's move to the next topic that's a structure of a carbonyl group so here on the screen i have got a carbonyl group where you have got lone pair on oxygen atom if you see the carbon atom if you remember it's sp2 hybridized and the bond angle would be nothing but 120 the geometry of this group will be nothing but trigonal planar or we can call it as triangular planar not only this one more point students a carbon atom if you see there are two single bonds singly bonded they are sigma bonds and between that carbon and oxygen if you see one of the bond is sigma and the second bond is nothing but a pi bond so student this is something what we are going to discuss or we had discussed in this particular module thank you very much